day five, game day. You know, we can't we can't turn back and, and change nothing from here. Everything we we worked so hard for all season and everything we did up until now, all that has to pay off today. Um, it's 32 teams in this tournament. Everyone's striving for one goal, and that's to win, be crowned national champions. Um, we had so much success at the College of the Oaks Arts. Last year, we we lost. Two years ago, we won, and it, it was just the excitement. It's just so so amazing. We pull up at this gym, and you know the feeling that you get. It's like it's like a rush. So exciting. As I look at my teammates' face, then I see I see what I feel in myself. Everybody's ready. Everybody got their game face on. There's no doubt in my mind that you know everybody bring their A game. Not even tip off yet. And I can speak for everyone when I say we're so anxious to play. Um, we came here dressed, ready to go. It's, hey, it's halftime, we get 10 minutes to warm up. I feel like I wish that, that the ball would get tipped up for us to play then. I'm determined to win. And it's, the, it's the final stage for me. It's my senior year. I, I feel like if, if we lose, if we don't make it to the championship, I'll be letting so many people down. Everybody's uh, been cheering us on this whole way. I just you know, expect so much from us, and I think everybody else expects so much from us too. And getting prepared for this game is just like, just like the national championship game because you lose, you're done. There's no coming back to practice the next day and fixing things that you messed up on. That's, that's what makes it even better. Brings out the best in each individual. You know, head into this locker room here. I, I can already can already see what coach put on this on the chalkboard before I, I walk through the door. It's, it's, it's that serious. I'm that ready. The only thing we're focused on right now, this game right now, together on three. One, two, three, together. Kids all across the world has wanted wanted to be on this level and, and playing these type of games, and we're fortunate enough to do that. I have to say we all blessed. minutes in the game and I have to fight through this battle and, and get to the free throw line. And coming to this game we knew that free throws was gonna play a big role. And another game plan was to work inside out with our post. We have to get the big fellas going and establish our post. And attack the win. I wouldn't say that uh, we're a great three-point shooting team, but we knocked down some pretty, some pretty tough shots from behind the arc. We find ourselves at times taking some tough ones. Luckily, we have the hard workers that we have, you know, following up my misses and, and uh, getting putbacks. The guys have worked so hard all year. You know, we, Jamestown, we haven't heard about this team all year. Uh, the night before, we watched film and, and scouted this team, seeing what they were good at. I think they were shooting. 30 some percent from the three point line. So we wanted to hug them guys outside and, and make sure they didn't have no open looks. Leading scorer was, was a post player. I think our, our bigs did a great job of um, 
getting him out of his comfort zone and, and taking him out the game early due to foul trouble. You know, we we coming from the MCC, one of the toughest conference um, in the in the, in the NAI, I feel like. Jamestown from North Dakota. Not sure how their conference came out, but you know, ours is a battle every night. Drop in three critical games that uh, possibly could have stopped us from coming to nationals. But we're here now. Everyone has a clean slate. Records are 0 0. I feel like we're the best running teams in the country. And, and when we run, I don't feel like no one can beat us. Uh, going into halftime, we had a 10 point lead, 9 point lead. We had the momentum. Coming out in the second half, we, we had to match our momentum. But here they are. Knock it down, key threes. Like it says in the scouting report, they start off with a 5 0 run. It was up to us to, to see how we uh, bounce back from that. We punched them in the mouth first half. They they threw the first blow the second half. We must continue to do the things that, that got us the lead in the first half. Attack the basket and, and play inside out with our post. So when they make a run, our, our, uh, our bench get dead. Uh, the crowd goes dead. And we have to build that momentum all up over again. Being one of the smaller teams in the country, we have to mentally be tough and out, outsmart different teams. Scott, he can knock down a mid-range jumper, as you can see. Stretch out the defense. You know, the second half is going to be a fight. I think our big guys uh, did a great job of getting a big fella in trouble, their leading score. He was in foul trouble majority of the game. We kind of took the life out of him. We made someone else step up on their team. And they did. They hit some big shots. But it was up to us to figure out how we would capitalize on it. Some of our guys hit some big shots as well. Some freshmen at like that. One of the things we struggled with all year was defending the, the drive. And that kind of showed late at the end of the game that in free throws. You know, here I am a senior, my last possibly my last game. I missed two clutch free throws and come down and give up a layup. Three seconds to go. Three seconds to go. They're up one. Most teams probably give up and think that it's over. We the Cougars. It's, it's never over till the time expires. We've been here before, we've been down before. We know what it's like. We've been in this position before. Coach draws up a great play. Spencer, <laughs> hard nosed player. Freshman. Like I said he's a freshman. But he came to play. We're down one with three seconds left. He steps up to the line, knocks down two key free throws. 
seal the victory. I just felt like, you know, I almost let my team down and Spencer <laughs> Spencer knocked those free throws down and saved my saved my senior season. It's a wrap for day five. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, it was a rough one, but we'll take it. Make sure you stay tuned in our journey to the national championship. Tune back in tomorrow at noon as we take on Bellevue, the seventh seed. Um, it's going to be another nail biter, so cheer for us, and, and hopefully we'll bring home the victory for you guys.